I've reported on this topic a number of times here on this channel um, where endless propaganda from big tech and big media, along with some lawmakers in states like Texas, by the way, um, California, New York, Illinois, and now in Maryland, where they believe in their heart of hearts that if they do just this one more act of control, it will significantly reduce so-called gun violence. If they just do this one thing, now they'll admit it, it could take years to accomplish. And they're really not concerned about the infringement aspect of it, but they believe that this would help. Folks, before we move forward, I ask that you click on the link in the comment section or in the description for a free, 100% free gun laws guide. This is a reciprocity guide as you carry in your home state uh, or you travel throughout the United States, how you can legally carry and possess. Get it. It's 100% free. It helps support this channel as well as keeps you educated and trained. So this is coming out of the Baltimore Sun. I mean, we know that cities like Chicago, St. Louis, New York, LA, they're popping off. Well, it's happening in Baltimore as well. And there's an epidemic of violence that is plaguing um, these cities. But here coming in from the Baltimore Sun is stating that we can reduce gun violence by regulating, dun, 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 ammunition right? What good is the pew pew unless it has those freedom seeds feeding it? All right, so here's the thought. They write, gun control remains one of the most divisive political issues in the United States, but some states, and we know who they are, have chosen to strengthen laws designed to keep firearms out of the wrong hands and reduce the likelihood of mass shootings. Then they go on to say, with ghost guns and the number of Baltimore youths getting access to guns growing in general, what's the one thing they all require? Well, that is ammunition. So while the guns themselves can't be easily tracked, it would seem the common item they all require is ammunition. So why can't Maryland and really all states require ammunition manufacturers to code all bullets to be micro-encoded to identify the ammunition and the dealers who sell the ammo to identify every person whom it is sold. Yes, it may take several years for current ammunition to be used up before the effect will be realized, but eventually, if we can identify who the ammunition was sold to, won't the police have an easier job identifying who... <laughs> Who fired the gun? Or prosecute, prosecute those who may have acted as a pass-through to somebody else. The only way to stop the killing, if we apparently can't stop the guns, is to track the true cause of the killings, which is the ammunition. It's not the criminal. It's not even the pew-pew anymore. But the true cause, let me say that again, and I quote, if we can apparently cannot stop the guns, is to track the true cause of the killings, which is the ammunition, and he asked, doesn't that make sense? Listen, folks, if you honestly believe that the trillions and trillions of rounds of ammunition that are across this great nation in households and at companies and at dealers, if we can burn through that in just a few short years, I think they're off the rocker and have no idea. How about those that do reloading? The trillions of rounds that can be produced from homes, from small businesses, that will last this nation decades, decades, impossible to truly track it. Furthermore, you and I both know that if somebody is going to commit an evil act, they're always, always going to find a way. This relentless propaganda on behalf of big tech, big media, and uh, our lawmakers who truly think that they're doing the most good, in my opinion, is endless propaganda. It's going to happen. Eventually, a state is going to pass something along these lines. I've done many videos on bills proposed 
in, in states. When it does, it's going to spread like wildfire. And once one state enacts it, kind of like an assault, so-called assault weapons ban, other states will certainly follow suit. I'd like to know your thoughts, folks, in the comments section. I mean, is this practical? If, if you think that regulating, microstamping, tracking ammunition, by the way, what's that going to do to the cost of ammo, which is already elevated uh, compared to pre-2020? And I, it appears it's going to kind of stay that way for a little bit. What's going to happen to the cost of that ammo? But let me know in the comment section. Do me a favor. Put a one and reasoning your thoughts in the comment section if you think that micro stamping and tracking ammunition will, in fact, help save lives. Put a two in the comment section if you don't think, and your reasoning, if you don't think it's going to do jack. So that's it, folks. I can only continue talking to you about it bringing, shedding light on these subjects uh, because day after day, they're going to continue to nitpick at it. And in my opinion, uh, they are advancing at an accelerated rate. Again, get the free gun laws guide. You'll see the link inside the comment section or in the description. 100% free, guys. Help support this channel financially uh, and also is for you to have education and training regarding these laws. And it is updated in real time as you carry in your home state or travel throughout the United States. Uh, get it. It's good stuff. All right. I love you. I thank you. I'll see you in the next video. I pack instructor. Well, I'm out.